In this film, we will show you how to replace the air springs on the rear axle of the Mercedes S211 with airmatic suspension. It's very important that you follow the instructions exactly as they are shown. To replace the springs, you must use the tools and equipment provided by the vehicle manufacturer. Observe the installation instructions when removing the air springs and make sure you have a new holding clip. The new air spring should have a maximum length of 300 millimeters measured from the eye to the top bearing surface. With the Mercedes E-Class Type S211, it is absolutely essential to use a suitable piece of diagnostic equipment when you are carrying out work on the air suspension. Before starting the replacement work, use the diagnostic equipment to determine which air spring are faulty. To determine the installation position, measure the elevation of the vehicle and make a note of it. Carry out a visual inspection to identify any damage to the suspension components. Discharge the air spring to three bar using an appropriate piece of diagnostic equipment. We recommend using appropriate work safety equipment. The Mercedes E-Class Type S211 requires you to remove the entire rear axle. When removing components from the rear axle and installing them, you must carry out the steps in parallel on both sides. When you remove the cable connections, take care to avoid any damage. Make sure you handle the cables carefully. Once the calipers have been removed, you must secure them using suitable cable straps. Before removing the rear axle, screw the retainer plates in place specified by the vehicle manufacturer. Do not remove the tank hose until the tank is completely empty. Now, discharge the air spring completely using the diagnostic equipment.
Once you have removed the main air delivery line, seal off the connection point using the yellow blind plug. Once the air spring has been completely discharged, lever it out of the holding clip using a suitable tool. Before you remove the rear axle, you must release the ride height sensor. Now loosen the four main axle screws. Before removing the screws completely, secure the rear axle using a suitable jack and then lower it. Once you have lowered the rear axle, remove the stabilizer fixture. Then remove the air reservoir and the bottom screw on the air spring. You must use the tool specified by the vehicle manufacturer to remove the air line on the air spring. Take care when removing the line. Now you can remove both air springs. Do not remove the connecting hose from the air spring to the expansion tank under any circumstances. This will result in leaks. If air springs are uncoiled, they are defective and must not be used. Do not remove the information label until just before you install the air springs. Place both air springs in the appropriate position. Make sure the connecting hose stays in the correct position. It's essential to use a new holding clip every time. Tighten the new holding clip until it is hand tight. Before screwing the axle back in place during the reassembly work, clean the threads of the retaining pins. Remove the old screw locking device completely using a thread cutter. Remove the new screw fitting for the air delivery line and prepare it for installation. Once you have installed both air connection points on the springs, you need to establish the electrical connections. Use a lifting device to remove the axle into position. Screw the four retaining pins for the axle in place by following the manufacturer's instructions.
Before you charge the air springs for the first time, you must connect the main air delivery line and the cable connection. Now remove the lock plates and install the calipers and electrical lines. It is essential that the tank hose is attached and screwed into place by a professional. Use the diagnostic equipment to charge the air springs to a maximum of 0.5 bar. You should hear the holding clip snap into place. To align the air springs with a control arm, use the vehicle elevation that you measured at the start. If you do not have a record of the vehicle elevation, you must use the angle measuring instrument specified in the manufacturer's manual. Once you have set the angle, secure the air springs. If the angle is set incorrectly, this can cause damage to the air springs. If any damage occurs, you must replace the springs. Never lower the vehicle from its position on the lifting device when the air suspension is depressurized. Charge the air springs with two bar of pressure. Then check the position again using a veneer caliper. Now use the diagnostic equipment to raise the pressure to 5 bar. Once the vehicle has been set down on its wheels, use the selector switches to make the various settings for the air suspension. Now tighten all the screw fittings to the torque specified by the manufacturer.
When the work is complete, use the diagnostic equipment to remove the fault messages relating to the air suspension. After you have performed any work on the suspension, it is absolutely essential that you realign it. Bielstein. Drive the legend.